to see the action in the transistor we have made this circuit okay now this layer depletion layer is between e and b this is forward bias what happens in forward bias the depletion layer shrink and this depletion layer will shrink and once we increase this voltage sufficient sufficient means more than cut in voltage then this will demolish there will be no depletion layer and what we get here is this is no more there finished what do we have here p and p no more here and the current flows very easily this current start in this direction from plus goes to minus minus plus and this is the current flowing okay what happens to this answer this is reverse bias so in the reverse bias this get wider this gets wider and there is only a reverse current which is a very small current this is collector this is base this is end so now what do we see npm this layer this layer has widened up so we can say the resistance in this layer has increased the resistance in this layer has decreased for this circuit therefore current in the this circuit increase current increase and here current decrease what happens to resistance here resistance decrease and this has become a conductor in forward bias in forward bias a p n junction behave like a conductor because depletion layer is omitted and the current start flowing in the reverse bias the resistance increase resistance increase and the current stops current by majority charge carrier stop current majority stops okay but reverse current will keep flowing reverse continue this is action what takes place in the transistor the resistor here the resistor here has gone here it is transferred that is why it has become wider and it is no more there so what action has taken place answer action taken place is there is a transfer transfer of resistor the resistor from here has transferred here here it has become a conductor and here it has become double the resistance so there is a transfer of resistor and therefore we give it the name this what transistor that is why it is called transistor when biasing is done there is a transfer of resistance so this is transistor this is the action here the current flows freely
from base to emitter and here it is restricted. This is transistor action. Now this transistor action we have to study but we will study it in the reference of common emitter transistor because that is how it is used for making amplifiers. What is an amplifier? What is common emitter configuration? Uh, we will see that. Okay. So, before that when we study the action by transistors, we will see it in the terms of changes in voltage and changes in current. What do we call it? The graph is called characteristic, characteristic graph. Okay. Like we made in diodes, so we will make characteristic graph in transistor also. But here there are two circuits. There are two sources of voltage. So we have to make two graphs. What is the name given to those graph? One is forward and one is reverse. We also call it this area with base and emitter. This is called input because when we use transistor for its most popular use amplifier, we connect our microphone in this circuit in this circuit. So this is known as input circuit. This is we put our loudspeaker in this circuit for a louder sound. So this we call output. So we will study input characteristic and output characteristic. So we will see input characteristic and output characteristic in the next lecture for this transistor and that will help us to understand the working of transistor more clearly. Thank you.